Uh, hello, come everyone. Let's you know we'll start our lesson today. Today is our third lesson on business environment. So before starting this lesson, let's will recap what we learned during our previous two lessons uh, under LO1, LO2, learning outcome one and two. So during our previous two lessons, we discuss about the purpose different types of organization. Uh, we discuss about uh, public, private, uh, and voluntary sector child organization, uh, where we explain you know, the private sector, public sector organizations, and what are their responsibility and how they, and we explain stakeholder, different stakeholder, and what their motive. The difference between stakeholder and stakeholder, stakeholder being anybody who has any trust in the business is called stakeholder. We discuss also mission and vision, where the company is and where they want to see themselves in future. So that's all. Also, we discuss during our first lesson. We discuss different business environment. We discuss pest and pestle analysis, which is political, economic, social, and technological. Under this, we already discuss about different sort of, you know, as a business strategies and conflict of interest already been explained in our first lesson. Just a bit recap. During our second lesson, we already discuss about understand the nature and the national environment in the business operate. So we already mentioned think global locally. So wherever you're doing business, you have to act according to the local environment. We discuss about economic systems, uh, GDP, GNP, and uh, public finance, demand and supply. Uh, under economics environment, we discuss about uh, per capita income, interest rate, inflation rate, uh, people saving, purchasing power of the people. If the per capita income is a higher, it means the people have a higher purchase, purchasing. And uh, when their income increase, their prosperity to save and will increase as well. Because normally when the income is increase, expenses not increase according to the same percentage. Uh, depends, you know, in the different economics environment as well. So, a lot of discussion nowadays. We in the UK, the income is squeezed due to because there is a gap between inflation and the income increase. We need to think about it. We are doing business, and we need to focus on. We discussed during our previous lesson policies, fiscal policies, and monetary policy. Fiscal policy is a policy of the government, and monetary policy is a policy of the central bank. We discuss about the base rate. We discuss different legislation during our previous lesson. So let's you know move forward. So if anybody any question, please feel free. Just drop me emails. I will get back to you. And uh, I'm recording this lesson. Unfortunately, no one attended this now. And um, please make sure you just revise. And if any question, I'll uh, try to answer and uh, just drop me email. Okay, let's you know understand the behavior of organization in their market environment. Mm, organization behavior, organizations. So business organization definition is the organization is a artificial person. Organization is an artificial person and they treat all other human beings equally as well. So like a one person is supposed to be treat other person uh, in so when we as the organization or need to think about the welfare of the society in the best interest of the society so today our lesson will be focus on the market structure so we'll go through market structure what sort of the structure can be in different economies in different structure these leads to be organization to operate according to the market structure home market forces shape the organization response uh, we'll discuss about law of demand and supply chain, chain in the technologies and uh, how the behavior of the consumers change with the passage of the time. Shaping uh, the behavior of the organization. So, uh, of course, behavior of the organization can be shaped within keeping in view of banking and financial institution role in the shaping of the behavior of the organization. organization collations and things we will go through. Cultural environment, 
of course culture the way we spend our life culture mean norms value and ethics the way we spend our life is called culture culture is very very important if we are a good cultural management and you understand the culture of others you can be a successful business person so business uh, behavior which will go through business uh, cycle growth because business is not is the constant is always changing we are at different stages of the business so sometime boom sometime recovery sometime maturity so we need to focus on this organization response is positive incentive rewarding all this we need to go through during our lessons today fix variable these ratios how much is the change happened ratio is mean the change compared to the previous so our lesson will be focused on these points so please if any question ask me i'll try my best to go through so first of all business environment we are looking where business and in which are my environment so aim of to the lesson introduction key structure discussion on the business life cycle and social cultural factor which will go through and i wish you know end of the lesson we learn about what is the market structure meant by in different stages and some elements you know within a legislation as well what do we know about the market structure structure if we don't have a structure we can't really operate things properly organization structure market structure so these all you know so if we have a market structure then of course in our organization point of view we need to look around some efficiencies as well so good market structure can bring the efficiencies for the organization so efficiencies allocate efficiencies are the allocated where the consumer demand produce product and occur when the p is equal to p okay guys um these are in economics you know some p mean the price equal to marginal cost so they are under the production and the under the competition of the goods we looking the price and we discuss and we allocate so productive efficiencies some maximize production and minimize the cost in the short run and the long run minimum points on the average cost curve we not doing lot of quiz here because we it's not a purely economics course but we need to learn the basic terminology of it technical efficiency any level of out production is a technically efficient technically we as a organization we need to improve our technical efficiency with, to compete in a market so for the competition purpose technical efficiency is quite crucial for this um for to sustain in a business then efficiency if we are efficient today it's not mean we are efficient forever so because dynamic efficiencies carry on changing occur over the time super normal profit need to be made dynamic efficiency is the result of the introduction to the better method of production existing products so we need to look around how we could improve our method of production as x efficient if the x inefficient there is a waste and unnecessary production cost so we need to focus on these x efficiency we used to be efficient but x efficiency we not any more efficient so these are the we need to look around okay when we looking the perfect competition is mean perfect people companies have two or more or any company can be and the price controlled by the law of demand and supply instead of the firms so the perfect competition any company can join and exist from the market whenever they want so the firm is a productive efficient because the optimal output and lowers the uh points on the every total cost we're not going through a lot of curve but if you want to please go through if you want to add some examples so revenue curve so perfect competition where let's i'll go through i'll summarize everything okay so we'll go through perfect competition all these slide will give you some background knowledge as well so it's good to go through before you writing an assignment so let's you know i'll show you quick you know slide so when you do your 
easy to understand all the marquee structure is marquee structure perfect competition perfect under the of form infinite there are no limit on it it's a perfect competition concentration ratios very low and efficiencies in the short run allocative but not productive allocative efficiency need to be efficiencies in the long run allocative and productive and then profit in the short in the short run can be super normal but the profit in the long run can be normal because of course you know there are the lot of companies they are doing exactly the same there is a no restriction to join or do the business example wheat many wheat producing company yes perfect competition there is a no anybody can it and do or, or so that's a perfect competition so next market structure is called monopoly or mono uh, mono initially was monopoly but the monopolistic is a large number of firms monopolistic competition is not infinite it's a large number and concentration ratio low inefficiencies in short run inefficient efficiencies in the long run inefficient super normal profit and normal profit like hairdresser monopolistic competition yes the large number of firms yes they are doing business is example of hairdresser is a monopolistic sort of competition so oligopoly is sort of the uh, um, market structure as where number of firms few concentration ratios can be high efficiencies in the short run inefficient in the long inefficient and super normal profit super normal profit like a soft drink soft drink industry is an example of the oligopoly it's not only the one firm but few from making the drinks okay monopoly monopoly is really really harm for the individual people or the consumer monopoly mean the one person one from control whole market so that's why under the competition commission in uk the monopoly is really really so competition commission's aims and objective to make sure not the firms create a monopoly in a market because under the monopoly they can fix the prices they can earn the super normal profit either just short run and the long run yeah like eurostar in the uk which is uh, between europe that's a monopoly like even the virgin media is only one cable company is that sort of the monopoly if they want fiber optic no it's a lot of you know technology is transforming so we need to think of is under the monopoly so let's you know we'll go back all these terminology those we just discussed in a summaries so please all there and it's very well details you know here a logo poly a market composed of the small firm small number of large independent firm that engage in the known price competition so known price a uh, so we need to look around few firms dominate so petrol and the airline industry high barrier entry and exist so for the new company high barriers to enter and exist within market product differentiation so firm have a price making power so all these perfect or logopoly when the logopolistic produce homogeneous product with the perfect substitute imperf uh, product produced by firm number of different and implement so that's all you know it's come we not doing lot of curve but there are different king demand theory that's all about you know the under the logo poly how the sh uh, curve shift from one point to other point and the marginal cost marginal revenue marginal cost you mean the cost of every successive unit marginal revenue mean the cost revenue of the successive every successive unit so perfect competition with so this is advantage benefit and drawback of monopoly super normal profit can be used investment research and development will be give dynamic efficiency so 
that that weight loss supernal profit mean the little incentive for innovation leading to inefficiency reduce the consumer surplus compared to the competitive market so under the monopoly of course you know people from skin charge the higher price so these are all the advantages and disadvantages of each you know the kind is being discussed so um i included different slides so please you know cartel we may be heard about the cartel cartel is mean the few firms come to there and decide you know they will do the price cartel is illegal in uh, in the uk and various other part of the world but in some country maybe the companies come together and they can fix prices like cement industries in uh, asia a lot of cement manufacturing company they come together they can fix the cement prices because the competition commission is not strong and the um, uh, so we need to look around these you know game theory is developed and the idea of interdependency is action taken by the competitor affect all others the firm in the same industry so a logo poly is a game theory is quite popular in the business game theory what the competitor is doing how will you do and how will like a game you know we want to play we want to tackle our competitor so is a game theory is based on the exemptions yes firm don't know to show how they revival react you know so when the other firms do we can react accordingly okay anybody any question so please feel free so all these be next like market supply of labor supply and demand will affect you know labor work for under the per so perfect competitive firms demand curve is shift so this all be so guys you just need to focus more and just this slide please when you do your assignment okay next we looking business cycle so first under lo3 first bit is a market structure where we can discuss about competition perfect uh, monopoly advantages disadvantages and under the perfect competition what strategies as a organization we can make to tackle our competitors like a game theory we can use if my competitor will do i will do this okay demand and supply okay law of demand and supply is quite popular in economics so law of demand and supply if the supply is high demand can be less and ultimately the prices will be less if demand is high and the supply is less so prices can be very very high like in some um seasonal demand is very very high elasticity demand we can call the, you know the chain in the price the chain in the demand so if the price chain like you know the if the price of the bread will change so demand won't be changed because this is a basic necessity of life so we need to think about you know the law of demand and supply if chain so what effect will be on the okay so of course pricing the cns and the cost cost you know we can look around different sort of the cost fixed cost variable cost so when um, cost will change according to if the cost in then the price will increase then the demand of course will be drop so we need to look around research and development economies of scale merger and take over merger and take over is quite popular because companies want to control it so lot of merger and uh, take over happening throughout the world but larger merger and take over can be failure as well because a lot of organization they have their own cultures so uh, that's why we need to look around these okay next now we are point of discussion will be business environment under business environment we looking business cycle so our discussion is focus will be on the business cycle now so business cycle it is important to recognize that the output from the national economy don't rise or fall uniform rate the economy only experience a regular cycle where the rate of the growth of the production income and the spending fluctuate okay so business cycle boom depressed 
Charade sessions and recovery. These are all the four stages of so depression, stagnations, recessions, so recovery, and then boom. So it's carry on happening because a business or the taste of the people always change. So business never stay the same. So we need to think about how we'll make sure we'll change according to the change of the business at the stages of the business. Recession occurred due to the fall in the national output, which lead to reduction in employment, disposable income. So when the GDP, GDP is gross domestic product, it means national income reach at the lower point, like in the UK now, GDP, the GDP growth rate has dropped from 3% to 1% now, which is economy, so is a signal that the recovery is imminent after this. Of course, what does the key correction decline in demand for the national output, rising unemployment? In the UK employment is, unemployment is lower, uh, so a lot of you know, but this is a bit the figures we need to look around as a business. So re recovery, these are the different steps, you know, we can, uh, during recovery, the picture start, you know, to look prettier and the consumer began increase the spending business confidence grow and the start to invest again so this is a recovery boom what are the key characteristic high level of consumer spending business confidence higher so it is a boom depression occur when the rate of the growth dick decelerate but the national output is still rising so depression uh, slum a slow down economy so these are the points we need to look around as well when we're doing assignment as well when we're doing business in terms of you know so we need to be focused on so measuring the economic growth and decline we when we looking the economic growth and decline we can measure on the based of the gdp based on the employment level based on the business output level average earning levels of the consumer is increased or decreased like a per capita income disposable income people have a income disposable to spend it to buy it consumer spending of course you know trust in the market consumer spending increase or decrease interest rate uh, in the economy that will lead to as well economic activities uh, consumer confidence level how much consumer have a confidence when the prices are so fluctuate the consumer confidence level can be dropped that leads to be um, uh, either so next uh, discussion so anybody any question so first we up to now we discuss about business life cycle growth stagnation so all this we need to, that's the consumer behavior is changed. Think about exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate again, the foreign currency. Exchange rate falls and leads, that leads to be uh, the impact on the, the business as well and it impact on the market as well, market structure. So when we market structure with the monopolies, few firms only control, maybe it's hard to enter the new firms to be, if it's a perfect competition, there is a no number infinite the companies can enter whenever they want to be entered. So competition ex uh, competition within a market, open market, competition exchange rate. So exchange rate like in terms of pound and um, other currency. So pound value decrease, oil prices increase. So we need to look around. This will ultimately impact, you know, Consumer behavior, yes, consumer behavior always change, you know, see consumer behavior like people are very, um, if the firms do not behave it ethically, morally, like child labor was not used to be um, such a serious matter a good number of years ago, but it's such a serious matter now. If business are polluting environment, not following the legislation, so consumer behavior towards the organization change as well. So we need to understand the people are well aware of, aware of, and we have to be follow different sort of legislations. Okay. Anybody, any question? So next we are point. We're looking the sum social cultural factor that leads to the consumer behavior as well. So, which we'll go through.
okay social cultural factors according to different authors and tyran social cultural factors are the one of the most important component that can affect the organization however it is important to recognize the beyond the control of the business itself we can't control it we have to adjust it therefore it is vital the long term success the social environment in a life the depth of during our pastoral analysis pastoral is the stand for political economic social technological legal and eco environment so all these are the environmental we need to look around as well under the social productive productive proactive approach navigate the benefit of reform and planning system to reactive how will we act and proact population family labor lifestyle housing all these come under the social factor so social factor social and cultural factor custom lifestyle values characteristic of society so social and cultural environment so intense that it's separate effect the the on the business cannot be made it's very difficult for the business culture is the central point of social cultural environment and the change in the cultural factor will direct affect on the social environment such as the people attitudes and the values so social cultural factor when conducting social cultural factor analysis buying habits people are like you know lot of discussion the uk society is becoming a throwing society like you know because people in the past used to buy the quality product used to use it many many year and reuse it but now if the fridge washing machine dish or anything little bit fall not one but you repair it just put outside put in a bin and that's all you know buy the new one or uh, get the loans and buy the so we need to look around these factor ultimately leads to the most the business activity so we need to be focus on these things as well okay buying habits of course buying habit people we need to look around that will help you know so what are the buying habits of the individuals and the consumer religion yes so transform in the religion can be leads to the different um, factors as well so we need to look around a religion yes different religion have a different demand so that impact on the culture as well as the society so we need to look around like you know when mcdonald enter in india so of course you know in india is a lot of you know the vegetarian uh, of course you know more population is the vegetarian so they have they need to be follow and sell those product those religiously believe and uh, so as a business point of view we need to look around because the competition if we're not competing it then of course you know education of course education level also reflect you know the cultural so 40% no higher education compare of course you know higher education people are really being and uh, educated buying online and things as well technology trend so all these we need to look under the education factor that will leads to be impact the business is demographic first of all you know understand the population is a vital for the organization success think about india china market why it's not only the size of the country but the population within a country is as well so that's lead to be even the firms get 2% share that could be a huge you know business uh, on the business growth as well so we need to look around these population the size in the uk and all what sort of you know population we have is it elderly is it middle class is it so like in china chinese government removed the restriction on the second child so this ultimately leads to uh, leads to the more uh, opportunity for mother care so mother care business is more can be boost it already boost mother care in in china uh, their operation but they are cutting in a lot of uh, and last week there was news you know they are cut and going to close around 40 store in the uk so due to the mother care because people are not going and otherwise it's a young popul only population is growing young population so which of these businesses might benefit population growing in the size of the population aging and mortality rate are the of course you know we need to look around those business provide the insurance as well as those business provide you know um uh, 
yes so these are the organization uh, they are gray business can be geographic people are by preferences also vary by region to region so that's we need to look around within a business perspective different region north south lifestyle chain so chain lifestyle factors that are increasing divorce rate people getting married at later age have on the uk housing industry so yes these are decline in the marriages that will ultimately and uh, this is one of the case studies and i will send you one more case studies about caloge uh, how the caloge by looking um, so let's i'll quick can i show you caloge case study so it's quite good to read caloge states we all like serials so how they look around in the market structure as well balancing the marketing mix and creative innovation how the company respond according to the environment and uh, what sort of the product they launch and how they capture the more market share. It's quite good to read and that will help you to prepare your assignment as well. Okay, so that's one which I'll send you. Okay, there are different little, little points. So this we need to risk taking mean uh, the, the company taking the risk, you know, higher the risk, higher the rewards. Of course, you know, within a business environment, sometimes environment can be very risky, like, you know, investing ethical issues, ethical issues. There are a lot of ethical theories, green issues we need to focus. It's quite popular these days, you know, green issues like, you know, polluting environment, protecting environment, using CO2, uh, using uh, green energy like you know solar panels and uh, not using the electricity which is came through the polluting environment coils one so we need to look around as an organization perspective how we can differentiate ourselves how we can bring innovation in our operation so that is quite because that will lead to the behavior because this is the environment and the business behavior for example this is already we discussed you know the stages consumer behavior can be chained towards organization. Maybe they like to like think about the Facebook, the data breaches. That's huge. A lot of people they close their account on the Facebook because the personal data being stolen and being sold, misled, and that's see these sort of the things. You know, so consumer behavior is not a constant forever. It's carry on chaining and we need to be as or and react according to the consumer behavior okay so we need to reward we need to financial and non-financial rewarding our staff our so that will help us to be improved efficiencies within the organization prize and recognition for their effort so we need to be look around yes uh, most uh, rewards so that's because it's changed in the past you know the, just the salary was is only the enough reward no the company is paying and uh, giving shares to the employee that is a reward and the recognition and they recognition you know they are member of they being awarded as the best man first person reward for the year so these are the things you know so organization response need to be positive towards you know putting the people according to their effort and ability so that will help us to be consumer and consumer behavior fix consumer behavior fix no consumer behavior is change the internal can be different and the ratios of the chain can be different so ratio is the mean the change yes between one to it's a comparison between one variable to other variable so variable ratio ratio which is changed so we need to look around so all this is reinforcement trigger and repositioning and acting on the social change yes so social changes social injustice 
within a society if the organization increase and not keep the mind the best interest of the public so that's a whole you know the chain is shifting so corporate social responsibility caring about the uh, in so these are the things you know like we discuss about culture and tradition these are transform as well so these are social cultural factors so please we need to go through and we need to look around within assignment you can add you know example to address it okay next And there are various case study how competing with within the change world how we can complete like a rise uh, case study so the market what is the market structure how rose rises what are the external environment and uh, yes doing the services water fire forces model yes when we are doing our uh, in the business environment we can use the putter five forces the bargaining power of suppliers bargaining power of consumer the behavior of the case so it's quite good model to use i'm not going to in detail but you can go through a little bit read please we already discussed during our first lesson as well so conclusion then we can how the, the rose rise is response to So please, if any question, you can ask me. Let's will go back and recap what we learn. So today we learn about the market structure, monopoly, oligopoly, um, monopolistic, and then um, monopolistic competition, perfect competition, perfect imperfect is mean where no competition, then infinite, their firms can can't enter. So perfect competition the firm had don't have a restriction whenever they want to start or enter in the business they can enter in the business so this is called a perfect competition so guys please just focus on these market structure then how the market forces shape yes social cultural factors caste uh, and technology which we discuss behaviors of the organization behaviors yes so we're looking the issues and uh, we discuss about social cultural factors that will lead to so please go through these if any question and next lesson we'll go through our last learning outcome which is be able to assess the significance of the global factor and shape the national so which will go through different role of different international organization and how they can shape the business and global factors and the business activities how these affect so today we'll keep up to here if anybody has any questions so please just drop me emails i'll get back to you and uh, we'll carry on doing stuff so if you want to further enhance your understanding of the business environment these are the links you know it's quite useful so please follow these as well and i'll get back to you if any question drop me email okay thanks for listening and attending and uh, i'll speak to you some point have a nice time bye bye